All right, this is Avery's first time trying apple. There you go. <laughs> what do you think? Oh. <laughs> oh, what would you think of that? <laughs> Don't you like it? Oh, 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 <laughs> what do you think? Oh, <laughs> oh, do you not like it? <laughs> hey guys, good morning. I don't know if you can hear it in my voice. I have caught a cold. Not sure if I got it from the kids. I'm assuming I got it from the kids or if I got it from Anthony. I don't know. But yeah, just not feeling super hot today. Uh, past couple days, really. Just sinuses and yeah, just not the best. But anyway, I want to get that out of the way because you'll hear it in my voice. I am coming at you from a quiet house. I have both boys in school. Grayson is at kindergarten. Porter is at preschool. Avery, well, she was napping, but I've heard her stirring. So I think I'm going to go and get her. I am getting ready to take Avery to a eye doctor appointment. So I found out from... Well, I've heard about it um, before on Instagram, but then my photographer that we use to take pictures every year of our family was telling me more about it. There is a, I think it's a government program called like Infant C, and it's basically a program where all infants, 12 months and under, can go to the eye doctor and get a free eye appointment, eye check appointment. You don't have to pay for it no insurance, no nothing. It's just free. You have to go to a eye doctor that participates in this program. Not all of them do. I actually had quite a hard time finding somebody who did participate in this program. I have not done this for my boys. I didn't really know that the program was a thing when they were little and I didn't really have much um, concerns about their eyes. With Avery, I don't really have that much concerns about her. I think she can see and see me fine. I will note she is a serious baby. It She does not smile that much. She still has yet to laugh. And so I just want to get everything checked out that I can to make sure that if there's something wrong, I can try and make it better. So if the reason that she's being so serious is because she can't see all that well, then maybe she needs glasses. So we're just gonna go and get this checked out. I've never been to the eye doctor before. I don't wear glasses. Anthony's gone a handful of times. He has glasses and he's worn them more often. He really doesn't need them is what he's told me. It's just like helps him a little bit focus, but he and I really have good eyesight. So I wouldn't think that our kids would need glasses this young because Anthony and I don't really have eye problems, but every person is different. So maybe Avery, knowing her past history of the mouth ties and the helmet and the heart condition, like maybe this is just another thing to add to Avery's plate. So we're just going to go get it checked out. I have no idea how they can tell like if babies can see or not. I'm assuming they have tests otherwise they wouldn't run this program so we're gonna go and just kind of see how her eyes are looking best case scenario they say she's totally fine and we don't have to do anything worst case scenario they say her eyes are horrible and she needs glasses and we have to pay for glasses which I don't even know if kids glasses are expensive or not I don't even know if I think glasses are expensive because Anthony got a pair of glasses and he said they were pretty expensive I just I don't know I don't I've never needed glasses I have noticed I, as I get older, my eyesight from far away isn't as good as it was, but it's not so bad that I need to go get glasses yet. I do think eventually it'll come. So anyway, we're just going to go and get this checked out and kind of see 
what they say. So I'll keep you guys updated. Other than that, we've just been kind of hanging out. One week from today is Thanksgiving. Um, we host Thanksgiving this weekend and then again, actually on Thanksgiving. So I pulled the turkey out last night and put it in our fridge so it'll start um, de-thawing. You have to do it so many days before, depending on how many pounds the turkey is. So I did that and got all the ingredients, hopefully, that we need. Yeah, so we've been doing that. It's been unseasonably warm outside, so we've been playing outside as much as we can. I've been trying to rake as many leaves as I can. Our yard is looking pretty good. And yeah, you really haven't missed that much. Um, we had an updated helmet appointment for Avery the other day. No real news there. They just shaved more of her helmet and said the next appointment, which we go in two weeks, it's like the end of November. They said they will take updated pictures and then we will see once and for all if we're good or if they recommend a second helmet. So that will be the big appointment. Also got Avery's second flu shot. When they're little, they have to get two flu shots. So we did that. So it's just been a week of Avery, seems like. But yeah, so just keep him busy. But let's go wake up Avery and um, get her ready for this appointment. Avery Brynn. Avery Brynn. Hi. Hi, sweet girl. Here we go. Hello. Hi. Are you ready to go to the eye doctor? Oh boy, ignore all these bite marks. These are from Grayson and Porter throughout the years. This crib has gone through three kids now and it's a little beat up. Are you ready? Should we go? We gotta get going. Oh boy. Hi. Okay, we made it. Nice stuff. What do you think, Aves? What do you think? We'll see. Get it, Gray. <laughs> Kick it, Avery. Ready, Port? Ready. Woo! I did it! I made it to Grayson! It looks so cute. Grayson's involving Avery in our game of soccer. He takes it to her hands and then has her hands push it. <laughs> It's so cute. <laughs> Good job. Yeah, did you laugh? Because you're involving Avery. It's cute. Ready, Porter? Ready. <laughs> it's so cute. So we are out here playing. I was blowing the leaves. You can see how far I got, which is not far at all, before the boys wanted to play soccer. But I took a break to play soccer with the boys because I really wanted to play. And Avery's just watching. And Grayson is shockingly having Avery <laughs> play soccer with us. And I think it's like the first time he's actually like involved her in play. Okay, I'll kick it to you. Ready? So we're just out here playing. It is 70 degrees and it's November 16th. It's crazy. We are back, obviously, from the eye doctor. Um, just want to give you guys a quick update on how that went. Um, Avery is 
perfectly healthy. Her eyes are great. The doctor did a whole bunch of tests, shine lights in her eyes, looked at the back of her eyes, um, said she's um, farsighted, but said that all babies are a little bit farsighted and then as they get older, it just kind of um, goes away. So she said she's perfectly healthy and her eyes are great. So don't have to do anything more with that and got that out of the way so Avery has perfect eyes and I think I got Avery to laugh for the first time I didn't record it so I have to try to see if I can recreate it tonight but pretty sure I got her to laugh for the first time I was doing like Eskimo kisses with her which if you don't know what that is you're like rubbing noses with another person and she was giggling from that so that made me feel really good but we'll see if I can recreate it then I know it's like for real anyway I'm gonna get back to blowing the leaves because I think the boys are kind of tired of playing three-way soccer and um, just enjoy this very last day of warm weather because the rain comes tomorrow and then it's going to get into the 40s unfortunately so super sad about that but anyway the appointment went awesome and we're just um, hanging out outside this glorious afternoon. I'm going to help Grayson find some golf balls. Avery's first time trying pear. What do you think? What do you think? Uh-oh. I, I think she likes it. What do you think? You like pear? See, look at my crazy head, hair. See, look at my crazy hair. Mm. You like it? I think she likes it.